So how can sound escape when even light itself cannot escape? What you're actually listening to is vibrations. You gotta hang on that object to get those data. NASA says that Voyager 1 has become the first man-made object to reach interstellar space, the cold, dark region between stars, far from the influence of our sun. Voyager 2, the intrepid spacecraft launched 46 years ago, has made an astonishingly and seemingly impossible discovery. For the scientists who initiated this audacious mission, it's a moment of triumph beyond measure. To witness their creation traverse uncharted territories, far exceeding its expected lifespan, while still beaming back invaluable data from billions of miles away, is nothing short of extraordinary. Back in 1977, NASA embarked on an unprecedented mission, launching two spacecraft into the vastness of space. Their objective, to explore the farthest reaches of our solar system. Now, after 46 years of relentless exploration, Voyager 2 has stumbled upon a chilling revelation, one that has captured the attention of the entire globe and left scientists in awe. What could this horrifying new finding from the depths of the cosmos possibly be? And what implications does it hold for us, the inhabitants of Earth? Brace yourself as we delve into the enigma that Voyager 2 has uncovered, venturing into the unknown and uncovering secrets that may alter our perception of the universe itself. In the world of space exploration, there are few tales as remarkable as that of Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. These two extraordinary spacecraft, whose journey began with a fortuitous alignment of the planets in 1965, have defied the limits of human imagination and ventured to the farthest corners of our solar system. It was an age when the boundless possibilities of space beckoned, and one man, Flandro, a part-time employee at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, dared to dream of reaching Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Armed with nothing but a pencil and the precision of a 20th century engineer, Flandro meticulously mapped the orbital paths of these colossal planets. The alignment, occurring once every 176 years, held a secret that Flandro unraveled with a stroke of genius. A spacecraft traversing this celestial alignment could harness the gravitational pull of each giant planet, propelling itself forward as if guided by an invisible thread. Flandro's calculations predicted that the journey from Earth to Neptune, a treacherous odyssey spanning 30 years, could be compressed to a mere 12 years thanks to these gravity assist maneuvers. It was a revelation that set the stage for one of humanity's boldest missions. And so, NASA seized this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, launching two identical spacecraft within a mere 15 days of each other. Originally planned for a four-year mission, these intrepid explorers have defied all expectations as they continue to transmit vital information from the farthest reaches of our cosmic neighborhood. In their epic quest, they unraveled the secrets of Jupiter and Saturn's moons, revealing a world teeming with activity, complete with active volcanoes and fissured ice fields. Voyager 2 etched its name in history as the first spacecraft to venture close to Uranus in 1986 and Neptune in 1989, a feat unmatched to this day. Far from home in the uncharted territories of interstellar space, they confound physicists with unexpected revelations, expanding our knowledge of this unexplored realm. But the Voyager's journey was not without challenges. In their pursuit of knowledge, they relied on the celestial ballet of gravity assists, refining their trajectories with precision measured in mere minutes. Their first encounter with Jupiter placed them ten times farther away from Earth than Mercury, a testament to their unwavering resilience and the audacity of human ingenuity. During their epic journey, the Voyager spacecraft faced numerous challenges, including the treacherous asteroid belt. Many wondered if these small rocky bodies would tear the spacecraft apart. However, prior to Voyager, Pioneer 10 and 11 had successfully navigated through a safe passage in the belt, paving the way for the Voyagers. These space probes, about the size of a vintage Volkswagen Beetle, needed onboard intelligence to tackle these difficulties. NASA's engineers equipped the Voyager computers with a mere 69 kilobytes of memory, which is less than what you'd find in a regular smartphone. To put it into perspective, even the key fob that opens your car door has more memory than the Voyager computers. To store the vast amounts of data gathered by the spacecraft instruments, 8-track tape recorders were utilized. The data was later transmitted to Earth by a modest 23-watt transmitter, which is comparable in power to a refrigerator light bulb. 
To overcome the limitations of the transmitter, both Voyager probes were equipped with 12-foot-wide dish antennas for efficient message exchange. However, communicating with the Voyagers is no easy task. Radio signals traveling at the speed of light take about 22 hours to reach Voyager 1 and a little over 18 hours to catch up with Voyager 2. As both probes have ventured far from Earth, they're advancing at a rate of 3 to 4 light seconds per day. Consequently, the signals from the Voyagers are growing fainter and fainter as they traverse the vastness of space and time. Adding to the challenge is the constant noise generated on Earth. Radios, televisions, cell phones, everything produces noise that makes it increasingly difficult to detect the subtle signals emitted by the spacecraft. These faint whispers from the Voyagers have defied astronomers' expectations and altered their predictions for what the Voyagers would discover as they ventured into the interstellar realm of their journey. While reaching the Oort Cloud, a distant collection of comet-like entities held together by the Sun's gravity, will take the Voyagers at least another 300 years. The region of interstellar space known as interstellar medium is more accessible. This is where the solar wind phenomena transitions into the interstellar medium. At the boundary between our solar system and interstellar space lies the heliopause. Scientists had varying estimates of its distance before the Voyager missions. Funding was increased, assuming the spacecraft would reach the heliopause at roughly 50 astronomical units. However, when the Voyagers crossed this landmark, they failed to discover the predicted indications of interstellar transit. Researchers had anticipated that Voyagers would observe a sudden increase in galactic cosmic rays, high-energy particles expelled from supernova and other deep space cataclysms traveling at nearly the speed of light. Yet, the majority of low-energy cosmic rays are deflected by the heliosphere, the vast magnetic cocoon created by our Sun. This protective shield shields us from at least 75% of the dangers lurking beyond our solar system. Scientists also expected the Voyagers to detect a change in the dominant magnetic field as they transitioned into the interstellar medium. The magnetic field of the interstellar medium, generated by nearby stars and immense clouds of ionized gases, was likely to have a different orientation than the magnetic field of the heliosphere. Surprisingly, the Voyagers had not detected any such alteration. When Voyager 1 finally crossed the heliopause on August 25, 2012, it provided puzzling data. While it did confirm an expected increase in plasma density, there was no indication of a change in the ambient magnetic field's direction. This raised questions about why the shift wasn't apparent, if the vehicle had moved from a place where the magnetic field originated from the Sun to one where it came from other stars. This surprising outcome left scientists perplexed and searching for explanations. In November 2018, Voyager 2 reached the interstellar medium, marking another significant milestone. However, similar to its predecessor, Voyager 2 failed to observe any changes in the magnetic field. As it reached the heliopause at a distance of 120 astronomical units from Earth, the same distance reached by Voyager 1 six years earlier, it presented yet another enigma. The heliosphere, with its dynamic nature, was expected to fluctuate in sync with the Sun's 11-year cycle. The ebb and flow of the solar wind during this period would influence the location of the heliopause, but the data from the Voyagers did not align with any of the theoretical models. When Voyager 2 arrived, the solar wind was at its strongest, suggesting that the heliopause should have been located further out than 120 AU. This discrepancy puzzled scientists and challenged their understanding of the heliosphere's behavior. These perplexing observations have left scientists grappling with questions about the nature of interstellar space and the complex interactions between our solar system and the surrounding cosmos. The future of the Voyagers holds both excitement and uncertainty. There are two potential scenarios that scientists contemplate as the spacecraft continues their extraordinary journey. It is anticipated that eventually, the Voyagers will venture beyond the turbulent shores of the heliosphere and make contact with the pure interstellar magnetic field, an encounter that could provide invaluable insights into the nature of interstellar space. However, an alternate possibility suggests that the Voyagers may remain within the heliosphere despite their long-distance travels. While some academics argue for this perspective, the majority of experts believe that the significant increase in galactic cosmic rays and plasma density detected by the Voyagers strongly indicates their entry into interstellar space. One fascinating aspect of the Voyagers is their reliance on technology from over five decades ago. In an era where answering machines, VCRs, and pennies have become obsolete, these spacecrafts transcend their own time. 
their instruments operate with minimal software, as the designers could not rely on the vast lines of code found in modern technology. Voyager 2 currently carries five operational instruments, while Voyager 1 has four. These instruments are powered by a mechanism that converts heat from plutonium's radioactive decay into electricity. However, NASA faces challenges due to the diminishing power output, decreasing by approximately 4 watts each year. As a result, NASA has had to prioritize and make difficult decisions. For instance, the heater for the cosmic ray detector, crucial for determining the heliopause transit, was shut off three years ago, defying expectations by continuing to function even in extreme temperatures far beyond its tested limits. The potential lifespan of the Voyagers hinges on various factors. If all goes perfectly, scientists might be able to extend the mission until the year 2030. However, the critical factor remains power availability. The diminishing power output presents a limit to their operations and the duration of their scientific endeavors. Nevertheless, the Voyagers have already exceeded expectations, persevering far beyond their initial design and becoming enduring symbols of human ingenuity and exploration. The Voyager's odyssey will persist, undeterred by the passage of time. Even when they're entirely forgotten by humanity, their incredible journey will continue. Voyager 1, blazing its trail, will encounter Proxima Centauri, our closest neighboring star, a staggering 16,700 years from now. Following in its cosmic footsteps, Voyager 2 will reach this stellar milestone a mere 3,600 years later. But their voyage doesn't end there. After this remarkable rendezvous, they will continue their celestial dance, orbiting the galaxy for millions of years. Perhaps along their timeless sojourn, the Voyagers may deliver a final message. It won't be transmitted through conventional means, reaching out over the radio waves to human ears. No, these intrepid explorers carry two recordings, relics of an antiquated era. Encased in a gleaming aluminum shell, they hold discs of copper adorned with a golden finish. Encoded within the grooves of these golden disks are images and sounds intended to evoke the essence of our world, the place from which the Voyagers embarked. These disks, bearing witness to the human experience, are more than just a collection of songs and pictures. They're a testament to our art, our culture, and our shared humanity. Nestled within the grooves are 90 minutes of music, including the vibrant melodies of Bach's Bradenburg Concerto No. 2 and the timeless rock and roll of Chuck Berry's Johnny Be Good. Images of children at play, dolphins dancing in the waves, and breathtaking sunsets grace the surface of these cosmic time capsules. And among the sounds etched into the discs are the enchanting chirping of crickets, the rhythmic patter of rain, and the tender touch of a mother caressing her child. A special message from President Jimmy Carter, the leader of the United States when the Voyagers embarked on their daring mission, is also engraved within these precious archives. His words speak of hope, determination, and goodwill as he eloquently expresses our yearning to transcend our earthly boundaries and unite with other civilizations in the vastness of the cosmos. It is a message of optimism and a reminder of our shared humanity. That pretty much wraps this video up, guys. Thanks for watching. So, what are your thoughts about the remarkable journey of Voyager 2 up till now? Share with us in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel with a bell notification if you enjoy watching our content. We upload some awesome stuff here which you will most certainly enjoy. Hit a like on this video and leave a comment below. See you guys in the next one.